What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today we're going to talk about more resources for low-income seniors, people with disabilities, as well as veterans. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video. We're going to focus on two more states and the resources that they provide. But first off, if you guys can do me a favor, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here, so by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. Okay, so I have a lot of people in the comments that are letting me know that they want to find out more information about their state. So we're going to go through all the states. So I'm going to do videos, a series of videos like this, and I'm also going to add the other videos that we normally uh, have on the channel. But since you guys are liking finding out more about these different resources, we are going to have more videos that focus on that. And so first off, and I'm going to start doing this before pretty much all of my videos, I'm going to show you the different resources, the where to start. So if you if you have no information and you want to find out information in your area, these are the three websites that I would recommend that you go to first. Okay, And this is mainly for seniors, but it could also work for people who are low income, people with disabilities, as well as veterans. So the first place that I would go is AARP Foundation. They have a, a really good uh, database here where they have a lot of information about different states and what they provide. So that's the first website that I would recommend. And then I would also recommend the Benefits Checkup. Go to this website, you put, you put in your zip code, and they'll give you information about uh, resources in your area, as well as Elder Care Locator. Obviously, this is for seniors. But the same thing, put your zip code in and then they can give you information. And so those are the three websites that I would recommend if you don't know where to start. Those are the three websites. The good thing about Elder Care a Locator is they have a phone number. Okay, so you can call them. And so here's a phone number right here, 1-800-677-1116. You can also email them. You can also chat with them online. Okay, so this is, uh, this is pro if you're not computer savvy, this is the best place to go uh, to find out more uh, information about resources in your area. Okay, so we're going to take a look at two states, like I said. The first state will be Texas and then Mississippi. And what I'm going to do is I'm not just going to go over the information that's provided on AARP. I'm actually going to go to some of the programs that are available in cities in Texas and cities in Mississippi. So we're going to do that. That's going to be a little bit different because a lot of these resources on AARP, a lot of the information is repetitive. It's the same thing. So if I do one on California and then I do one on Texas, a lot of the same information is there. But I want to dig into some of the different resource areas in, in the state as well. So let's, uh, let's just take a look at Texas really quickly here. And I just want to show you, obviously, they have the federal programs that are available. So Medicare, Medicare Savings Program, Medicare Rx Extra Help. Uh, so that's Medicare Part D. And that provides help for people who have Medicare Part D, so for medications. And uh, Medicaid is on here as well. And so we're looking at some of the state the state resources, uh, state property tax assistance. So that's good. Now, this weatherization assistance program, this is this is new. Uh, well, I won't say it's new, but to Texas, I haven't seen this in some of the other areas, but obviously Texas, they you know, have hurricanes and things like that. So they have the weatherization assistance program. They call it WAP. And so you can check them out. I, if you're in Texas, I would highly recommend uh, finding out more information here. And uh, basically what they will do is, is provide uh, assistance for your, your energy bills and things like that. Plus, in Texas, and I'm not too sure, but I know their regulation is a little different than, uh, I'll say, California. I pretty much know how much I'm going to be paying on my electric bill, but I guess it fluctuates a lot in Texas. So that might be the reason why they have this uh, weatherization assistance program. Uh, they also have the comprehensive uh, energy assistance program, so SEEP. Uh, so you can check that out. And then they have the Lifeline program as well and some of the other uh, federal programs uh, that are available. But what I want to do, like I said, I want to I jump into some of the different programs that are available in the state. Okay, And this is Dallas. I pulled this up from Dallas, uh, from the city of Dallas. So financial assistance here, uh, the Mint Cares Financial Assistance Program, and this provides up to a thousand dollars of assistance for their water bill. Okay, so this is good. This is something that that could benefit people living in in I'll say living in Dallas. I don't know if it's just Dallas or if it's Texas as a whole, 
Uh, I don't know where DeSoto, Texas is, but that's where this uh, foundation is. So I would imagine that's near Dallas somewhere because when I did the search for Dallas, this is what came up. Uh, actually, it says right here, city of DeSoto, city of Dallas. And so those are the two areas uh, in, in Texas. Okay, so let's go ahead and move forward. Here's another resource in the area in Texas and Dallas, uh, Dallas area. So COVID-19 related rental and utility assistance. Now understand this. There is still a lot of COVID money out there. Okay, the, the, the federal government gave these states a lot of money, a lot of resources when it comes to uh, COVID. And so because of that, they are still working on trying to divvy out this money. But it's, a lot of it's not automatic, and that's the thing. And, and we know stimulus checks, that was automatic, and then the states had their own uh, relief uh, checks and things like that. That was automatic. But now you're going to have to apply to some of these things. You're, they're not just going to just have them as an automatic, automatic payment. And so you're going to need to do a little bit of research, and that's why I'm here, and that's why I'm providing this information for you guys so you'll, you'll be able to know what different programs are out there that you can apply for and, and receive, uh, receive assistance. Okay, so uh, this program, the SOH uh, Services of Hope, and so this is, this is a program for, like we said, rental assistance and uh, utility a utility assistance as well. And so here's the phone number here, extension five. So you can call them. Like I said, this is the Dallas area. So if you're in that area and what I, what I recommend, if you are in Texas, call them anyway. And that way, when you call them, they can give you more resources if they know of more resources in the area. So let's say you might be in Houston. You're not in, in Dallas. You can still call them and say, I heard about this in Dallas. Does it apply out here in Houston? And they can give you more information when it comes to that. Uh, but this is the, the information that they have here. You, you apply online. And a lot of the programs, and what's good about these programs is a lot of them you apply online. So you don't have to. You can do this in five, ten minutes and find out if you qualify. Maybe it'll take a couple of days before they respond, but at least you'll you'll know and you can move on to the next program. So let's go ahead and see what else is out here. Uh, this is for veterans. So this is um, the financial assistance program. This is also in the Dallas area. And this program is called Salute.Inc. And this is for active as well as veterans. Uh, so this is this is a good thing for for people who are in the military. So look them up. They have financial assistance for you available. Okay, now we're going to go into Mississippi, and uh, let's let's see here. Mississippi, we'll just move down the AARP Foundation first, and then we'll go into some of the different uh, areas of Mississippi. I think Jackson, Mississippi is, is what we're going to focus on mainly. So Medicare. So they have Medicare here, Medicare Savings Program, Medicare RX Extra Help. So you see the, these three are in every state. Okay, it's a federal. Those are federal programs. They're in every state. Medicaid is also on here. Uh, let's see. When it comes to the state, they have state property tax assistance. They have the Lifeline program. They have the low income home energy assistance program. So LAHEAP, and they have the other programs as well, SSI, Social Security. Okay, so we've worked our way through these. Now, let's take a look at some uh, resources in Jackson. Now, this program, this assistance for veterans, we looked at this before, and I believe this is veterans and active duty, and this was in uh, the video I did yesterday. I can't remember what state we were in, but you see that this program is not just in that state. It's also in Mississippi, and so this, these are zero interest loans and grants. The important thing here is they have grants. Grants, you don't have to pay back. Obviously, loans you'll have to pay back, but grants you don't. So you're able to get, in essence, free money. And so uh, this is uh, some of the, the categories that they have, and it's an online application. So you can go online and you can apply and see if you qualify. Okay, and so here's another program here, the Choice Program. And I'll post links. I, I try to post links to all of this stuff, but sometimes there's so many different links that we're going over. I might forget one or two. Uh, so just if you're watching, if you're watching, you can find out the information here. Just pause the screen and you'll be able to call. I usually, if I see a number, I will alert you guys to that number so you can at least call them to find out more information. Or you can just type in the Choice Program in Mississippi and you should be able to get some information 
on this program. Available assistance, uh, eligible clients can receive the following rental assistance through the choice program. And then they go on to talk about some of the different uh, things that they will assist you with. So rental applications, rental security deposit. Uh, so this is this is good. This is good for people in Mississippi. Okay, and so the last one here, the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. This is for all 50 states, or at least you can find help in all 50 states. Uh, they start up here, uh, Alabama, Baldwin County. So these are, I believe, uh, yeah, so this is Alabama mainly at the top here. And then it goes into the states here, so Alaska, Arizona. So they have a lot of different areas. I would imagine it's all 50 states. I don't want to say it's all 50 states. It's not because I haven't looked through the whole list. But it looks like they have at least resources in areas of, of uh, in areas of like California. Look at all these different areas, as well as some of the other states that we've gone over. So I would I would definitely start here if you you need some rental assistance. And let's say you're watching this video, you don't live in Texas or you don't live in Mississippi, you can go to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau and find out more information. And like I said, when it comes to COVID. Because of COVID, there, there's been a lot of funding that these states have. And so because they have this funding, they need people to apply so they can offer this, uh, offer these services to them because they're not automatic. They need to know what your situation is. In a lot of cases, these aren't hard to, to acquire. So just you just need to go through the steps. You need to apply. They need to know who you are so they can uh, send the money your way. And so I just wanted to, to give you guys some more resources and just let me know in the comments. I, I'm, I'm definitely going to do all 50 states at some point. So make sure you guys, it, basically what I'm doing is if I see, okay, a lot of people are saying Texas, then I'll do Texas. If I see a lot of people are saying Mississippi, then I'll do Mississippi. And so in the comments, based on how many people are saying they want to see a certain state, that's where we'll go. And we'll do it the same way where I'll show you the state resources, but then I'll also go into some of the cities and show you the resources in those cities. So if you guys have any other questions, post them down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.